What's going on, guys? The Film and Everything Podcast. Welcome back for another episode. Um, we just got back from watching Doctor Sleep, uh, the sequel novel to Stephen King's The Shining. Um, when in this case, this movie's a little bit more interesting because um, the director Mike Flanagan um, was trying to pay tribute to both the movie and the book, um, which I researched a little bit now and was kind of trying to figure out what he was trying to do. You know. Um, to try, like, to how did he get away with that, you know? Because Stephen King hates The Shining, like the Stanley Kubrick movie. So, um, and when I was reading up at first, when he pitched the idea for this movie, Stephen King said no. Like, he was like, no, I, I don't approve of this, you know, whatever. Uh, so it took some time, and he did some um, different, um, I guess, takes on the story that until finally St- uh, Stephen King uh, approved, um, which... Um, We'll get into more in spoilers. We are going to have a spoiler section for this review. But, uh, yeah, Dr. Sleep starring Ewan, Mc- I- Ewan McGregor. Uh, the sequel to The Shining, the book, the novel, but also the movie, which was very interesting because I read the book, The Shining book, and I uh, we, we've seen the movie, The Shining, and yeah, two completely different things. Like, those endings are completely different. So it was interesting to see how he handled that here. Um, so Dr. Sleep, I mean, what, what did you, what did you think? What did you think of this movie? It, it was good. I mean, I don't know. It's it kind of really weird, the film. It's all, all like, the shining and, like, the, how everyone shines and, I don't know, it's got, like, super, like... Yeah, it got really supernatural. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which a lot of his stuff tends to do, you know? It, it... You think it's like somewhat supernatural, then it goes really like it always gets into this whole other level of craziness. Um, it 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 did. It was um, yeah. It's just different, and I think it's just because we're so used to the Shining movie. Um, this just it's a whole different thing. You know, you got like rituals and like you know, it's more about into the aspect of the Shining, what it is. You know, which is they're kind of like sidekicks and these. It's like really weird. Um, I guess they're. What's the word I'm looking for? They're like psychics, but also, I mean, they can, they can do a lot. The I guess you can say psychics. That's like a, they, um, telepathically they can do different things, and it's a cool idea. It's very interesting. Um, but yeah, this movie does get a little, a little crazy, uh, in the sense that it's more of a fantasy it starts becoming more of a fantasy um it didn't pull me out of the movie like completely um it it did it did take some getting used to but uh i don't know why when we were watching this movie i i I just didn't feel anything um uh i remember midway into the movie i felt kind of bored i don't know if you felt the same way Mm. Um, yeah, a bit. I was kind of bored. I was like, okay, when when does this pick up? Um, the, I don't want to say the pacing. It, it there's a time jump and then, like things are going on and then there's a time jump and then it, you know things are just still going on until the story finally picks up. It takes a while. This is a pretty long movie. It's two and a half hours. Uh, it does feel like two and a half hours. It feels pretty long. Um, so that's kind of, that that was kind of an issue for me. Uh. I felt like the stakes weren't really there in this movie. It, it just, it was, uh, I don't know, things just happened. I felt like things just happening. I didn't really feel any real tension in this movie. Um, I think the scariest moments, or the most tense moments, were probably like the beginning, the first 10 minutes, uh, which wasn't even that much. But then the rest of the movie is just kind of things just happening. It's really weird. Um, it's and th- th- again, I read the first book. You know, I really liked it. I loved the movie. Um, I couldn't. F- I tried reading this one, uh, this book. I-, I made it maybe like a quarter of the way through. I, I-, I- it was just too much. Uh, like what we're what we were saying, just too much of the supernatural. I kind of I lost interest. Um, so I wanted to give this movie a chance because you know I made it through the quarter way of the book, and I saw some of those elements in this movie. So I was like, okay, let's see and. I don't know. I, I just wasn't feeling it. There was no point in this movie. There is some cool moments that, you know, we could talk about in spoilers. Um, 
but there, it, it, I I don't know. I I wanted to like it. I was really trying to. There were some cool moments, but I felt kind of just like there was nothing. I felt nothing in this movie. I didn't really feel scared. I didn't really feel uh, anxious. It was just things happening. You know, it was. It's a really. I don't want to say dull, but I kind of, yeah, it was kind of dull. I felt kind of bored in this movie, um, which is a shame. Uh, I don't think it's a bad movie. I don't think it's great either. It's just kind of like right in that, it's right in the middle. It's really weird. Um, I don't know. It, you know, the the acting is fine. The acting is great. Uh, Ewan McGregor as uh, Danny, he, you know, he's, he does really well. But I don't know what it was with this that I... I couldn't, uh, I felt, I was just kind of bored. I was like, man, when is this going to pick up? Is anything going to happen? Midway into the movie, I felt what would have been probably best for this kind of story, for this book, would maybe like a, a miniseries, you know, like a six episode miniseries on like HBO or something like that, you know, kind of like with Sharp Objects, which is based off a book as well. Um, and that show was really good because yeah. this show, this movie, while watching it, the pacing, you can tell they're trying, it's it a lot like it chapter two in the sense of, you can tell that there's a lot of explaining to do, but then there's, there's, there's just, a, there's a lot to just explain while also resolve while, you know, and try not to feel rushed. I felt like maybe this should have been a, a little mini series, a six hour, you know, mini series, Kind of like in the realm of like sharp objects. Well, how, that was like what like six, seven episodes. It was six, I think. Six episodes. Um, I felt like six hours for this story. I think would have been a good amount of time to really flesh out the story. And I was even thinking about it. And there are certain scenes that I'm not gonna say yet uh, until spoilers. But I felt like, oh, okay, like if th- this would work more for me if it was an episodic show six episodes nothing too crazy because there are certain events that happens with characters i was like oh i can kind of picture this being a pivotal moment like an episode just for that and then you know you get the credits and you wait till next week's like i kind of saw it in this show format more than a movie format in the like watching this movie i felt like it was the pacing i it felt like they were just trying to kind of just bring it and rush it into this one thing you know it's not as bad as i think it too because it chapter two was a lot to cover um i think this would have worked more as a yeah as a mini series um i didn't really feel anything um i felt nothing the movie ended and i was like okay you know there's some homage scenes to the original film i was like okay i felt like there was a little too much callbacks to the first shining like at first i was like okay this is cool and then there's some literal literal callback moments that i was like okay like we get it you know it was a little too much um so that i kind of i didn't really like too much um the acting is great i thought the score was well done um the movie shot well i thought like you know th- like the movie's not bad it's not like this terribly done movie i just didn't feel anything the tone i the tone was really weird because yeah. it didn't feel like a horror film it felt like this fantasy drama or right it was like this fantasy drama because it's is it like a th- it's not really like a thriller there's no there's not much scenes of tension it's just kind of like it felt like a drama you know this character needs to wants this character for a certain reason and this other character needs to help, and there's there's not much action in this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The tone felt a little off for me. Um, I don't know. What, what do you think in in that sense? Uh, I don't know. It was like the first thirty minutes of the movie is kind of a lot of like explaining. Yeah, just straight like exposition. Yeah, it's kind of explaining like like who those people are and the girl and just everything. Not much really happens. Yeah, that that because I do remember in the book from what I've read, there is some. The book does take its time, you know, um, with the parents uh, and the, the uh, for Abra was that her name Abra Abba or Abra? I think it was Abba. Abra is, sounds like Abracadabra, but 
ABBA, like, they were, like, bringing in psychologists to, like, you know, talk to her. Like, the book does... So, that's why I thought, man, it would be more interesting if they made this into a miniseries where... Yeah. Just to really develop the the, the story. Because here, I don't know, I didn't... I didn't care. I really didn't care, you know? Mm. Um, I mean, when it ended, we were both kind of like, oh. It wasn't awful. It wasn't a movie where we were like, oh, my God. I was just, I didn't feel anything. It was a very neutral movie. And, you know, uh, I don't know. I, and I did have some big issues with certain things because there are, like, I guess, flashbacks in this movie. Uh, yeah. um, going back, because, again, it does want to pay respects to the original while also paying respects to the books. Uh, I, I, had, I did have issues with that as well. Um, the flashbacks didn't really work for me. It felt weird. Um... I'm not going to say what the flashbacks were or anything, but they recast certain characters and it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. Maybe because we're so recent off watching The Shining, we, you know, watching all these Stanley yeah, Kubrick but movies. They, they could have done it but if you're a fan time. of The Shining, I, yeah, I don't think you're really going to like that. Um, I, I didn't really agree with that either. But I mean, I mean, I, I feel like maybe if you're a fan of the books, you like this more. You know, like if you read the second book, of yeah. the, maybe because I I had no idea what was gonna happen towards the end of this movie, um, and I do want to talk about the ending because I did I did my research and I was reading up on what changed, what didn't change, and all that. Because I definitely knew like this ending is not the same ending. You know, there's just no way. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this movie, I I don't know. I there was a I, I wanted to like it, but I. I didn't feel anything. Like, there were some cool shots. There's some cool scenes. But that's it. Like, I wasn't really invested. I felt like I already knew everything that was happening. Because there was no point where, like, the audience knows. Like, we knew too much. We knew more than the than the, the characters in this movie. So, it's just like, okay, we know what's going to be. You know, we know what he's going to find there. We know it. So, it's like, there's no real tension or stakes, which I had a problem with you know so yeah that's pretty much it for me i don't know well, are you on the same page what do you think it was good i i did enjoy it i mean i didn't hate it but i don't know I, the movie's just it's a, it's a long build-up because most of the time i was kind of just watching stuff happen because the, the, there's some scenes they could have taken out Maybe that, the, the, those are like those are a few scenes that was kind of useless. I was like, wait, why did you just show that for no reason? Yeah, there's no point for me to show that. Like you're just showing that. Hmm. Yeah. No. I, and this uh, is a long has, movie. Uh, there's a scene. Uh, it's not a spoiler, but it's like it shows us a random scene of the of the people, the uh, the villain and the and her crew, whatever. Oh yeah, like those quick like. 15 second scenes that's like just to give you a quick heads up on what they're doing and then yeah, it's out I, this movie does a lot of that there's a lot of like quick little scenes yeah a lot of like meanwhile scenes like okay this is what they're doing okay back to you you know back to the yeah yeah I that's what like i mean that. about the pacing with this movie because i feel like uh there's things in this movie um I th they're called the true knots i think is what they're called like this cult I, essentially that's what they're what they are they're running out of like steam you know, and they got that's how they get their resources or whatever. Because yeah, they kill people who shine, right? Yeah, something like that. So, but there was a point where they're like, "Oh, we're running out. We were low on resources." And I didn't feel that. I was like, "Oh, this just kind of happened out of nowhere," you know. And I guess it's because we get that big time jump in the beginning of the film, and I, I don't know. That's why I always thought maybe this is a show. But eating burgers. Yeah, I don't know. And like popcorn. I don't know. Like I, that's why I, I thought. I, I don't get that. Yeah, that's why I feel like as a show it would have been better because you can kind of really go into that, yeah. that uh, tension within the coal. What's going on over here? Because Danny Torrance, um, in the beginning of this movie, uh, what they show in the trailer, he's dealing with like he drinks alcohol, alcoholism, and all. That. That's done in like two seconds. Everything kind of is just brushed out quick, um, which is you know again that's why I thought maybe a miniseries would have worked. Really just flesh out the story. Give it time. Because this feels like a story that would be more satisfying if it just maybe took its time. I don't know. but Because even like the climatic moments didn't feel that climatic either. It, just, it was kind of quick. 
it, everything felt quick. There was no stakes. I didn't feel like, oh, you know, I didn't feel any, I wasn't anxious. I wasn't, there wasn't this tension of what's going to happen. I was like, oh, okay, that happened. And, like everything just happened really quick. There wasn't a really like a big climatic moment, especially at the ending too. The ending just kind of happens. I didn't feel like if the stakes were at an all-time high and, you know, are they going to make it? It was just kind of like, oh, okay. It, everything result, was resolved pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not it's, – it's well done. It's just very dull. And at that point, I don't know if it's the filmmaker's fault or if it's just the book. Like, is the story just like that? You know what I mean? Maybe it's just that. Um, maybe it's just the story itself is not that great. I don't know. I, I never finished the books. Maybe people love the book. The book. Um, the Shining is good. I, I I did read The Shining and I saw the movie. You know, two different things. But the book, I I, I saw it. Like, you know, I was able to visualize it and I really enjoyed it. But the, the second book, I couldn't get through with it. And from what I read up, they, they were pretty... Um, loyal to the book they really did follow everything for the most part there are some little things that i want to talk about in spoilers that i think you'd find interesting of what they didn't use that actually was like pretty it was kind of like a, of a big deal i guess um so yeah i don't know is there anything else did you want to add anything before we go into spoilers because i kind of I have a few uh, things the girl um what's her name ferguson rebecca ferguson is that bring her name? the mic closer yeah is that her name yeah, she's in. Uh, where is she from? She's Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah she she did really good. I, I thought yeah. she played the villain. Really Weird well. character, but yeah, she did good. Yeah, she I, did I good. I thought she did good as the villain. Yeah, this movie. Um, uh, there's some like there's like a, I'll say one brutal scene. Maybe two, maybe two involving like the kids and stuff. Where I was like, wow, that's actually pretty dark. Yeah. Stephen King is pretty dark. He's always like it's always this thing with kids. Some either. Kids are being abducted. He has all his, his stories are about Pennywise kids. Pennywise is a uh, is a pedophile and yeah, uh, this one they abduct kids as well and kidnap I them and know, try to kill them. It's very interesting. He, you know? Yeah, it's that's his thing. Um, anything else before we go into spoilers? Thing it's just man, it's a long movie, and like not much really happens. Yeah, I feel like this is a. Unfortunately, I don't want. I hate saying this, but I do feel like it's a pretty forgettable movie. You know, it, it's a shame because I love The Shining and I was actually looking forward to this. I didn't have a problem that they were making it or anything. But, I mean, we we finished watching it. We got home. We were eating dinner and stuff, and I was like, I kind of forgot about it already. I was like, oh, like I was. That was it. I saw it. It was. I don't know why. It just felt... It was really forgettable. Nothing impacted me in any because way. The, because half the movie, nothing really happens. Yeah. Nothing Nothing really happens in this movie, you know. It takes a, a long time. Maybe to if you're a fan of the books or anything like that, maybe check it out um, and see what you think. Uh, I don't know if we're... Maybe we're just not seeing it a certain way or we're not understanding it or something. Or maybe we just have to read the book to understand it more. So I wouldn't tell people not to go watch it. Um, you know, go watch no, it no, and, and let us know what you think. I didn't hate it. I did enjoy it. I, I did enjoy the movie. Yeah, it's just a very neutral movie. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I, I didn't. I just had a problem with uh, with the villains because they were complaining they don't have any food, but they're eating burgers. No, because they live off the steam thing. That's how they live. That's yeah. a whole different thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I just. Yeah, it's re really weird. They do like this ritual, and they get to live long as long as they eat, um, which is the steam that they get from other people. And uh, it's it's really weird. It's really, I didn't think this story was gonna go that route. You know, you go from The Shining where it's more grounded. It's just like essentially this kid who shines and he could see things, and this whole this hotel is pretty like haunted, and he sees what happens there. You go from that to a cult that does rituals, and they practically turn into like these witches kind of thing and they can live long you know it's yeah it's like kind of weird you know it's already it's like really supernatural you know so it is a pretty big jump but he tends to do that he really tends to do that with these yeah. things he always has a writer in his stories there's always somebody who's a writer yeah um i don't know so uh anything else before we get into spoilers on this mm. no. uh what would you give this Probably like a seven. 
Um, I'm like, I'm like at a six. Honestly, I, I would give it a seven if there was some moment. There is like one moment that we'll talk about in sports. I was like, oh, that's cool until we actually, until the scene actually happens. And then it's like, oh, uh, and then it just, uh, it just like what I was saying, too much homage uh, to this camera does this at least once an episode. Um, I feel like there was too many callbacks. There was a good amount at first. It's like, okay, I actually like this. There's actually one scene. I don't know if you noticed when he's being, when he's talking with the guy, the head of the church after the, the guy, the head of the AA. Oh, yeah, the room was kind that, of the that's, that's the same room yeah. from the opening scene, the opening interview in The Shining. Yeah. So I wonder why he did that because that's two completely different places. I, again, I think it's just another little callback. He's having a little interview with the guy, and when he's in AA and stuff, and yeah, yeah. He's telling him about his watch. There's a little scene, nothing too, no spoilers or anything like that. Um, that room is the exact same room from when Jack Nicholson's character is being interviewed for the job for the Overlook Hotel. Like it's so obvious. And I was like, oh wow, that's that's cool. I don't know why he did it, but that's cool. I guess it's just a little callback, you know. Yeah, like, there's a lot of yeah, cool little callbacks, yeah, but then there's a point where it's like, okay, you're you're jamming too many, and you know, like pump the brakes, you know, which we'll talk about in spoilers because yeah. they're pretty um, I just significant. I had a problem with the climax. I think it just ended too quick. Yeah, there's no stakes. There's no stakes. It's just like, oh, okay. I was hyping it up, but then it was pretty easy. Like the whole movie is pretty easy with everything. Everything just works well. Yeah, yeah. I I expected more. A little group. struggle or something. Yeah, yeah, the group and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, with that being said, I mean, we'll get into spoilers. I'm, I'm going to give this a six, though. This is a six. I didn't feel anything. Again, it's not a bad film, but it's not great. It's just in the middle. It's just neutral. It's just I watched it, and I felt the same way I did before even watching it. It was just like, okay, I saw it. And let me go on my day. I'm already for. I already for. I forgot about it by the time I got home. You know, I did my some research on it because I did want to know the differences between the, uh, the book and the movie and how that played out at the end because I did want to share that with you guys watching or listening. Um, I'm gonna give this a six. You give it what a seven? Yeah. Okay, a six and a seven. Um, we're gonna go into spoilers now, guys. So, uh, stick around if you want to. Sp- be spoiled or if you've seen the movie already uh spoilers we're gonna go into it right now <laughs> 